All right, Link Brains Pack 2 is 100% spoiled. And popular tin cap theory going around straight from Alex Buell. The Nordic Link was actually in here. <sighs> Yikes. So, we got one, two, three, four, five, six new cards to talk about today. So, the first one is... Raid Raptor Link Monster. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody and their mother was excited for this, and we finally got it. So it's two Dark Wing Beast monsters to make. Congratulations, Black Wings. You got indirect support. <laughs> it's a start. So if this card is Link Summon, it's about some one level four Dark Wing Beast monster for your deck in defense mode, but its effects are in fact negated. Once again, congratulations, Black Wings. It's like you and Raid Raptors really just kind of work together under the same deck. And then if a Raid Raptor exceeds Link Monster, effect you control is activated. You can set one rank up magic from your deck to your field. If it was a quick play spell card, you can activate it during this turn. So, interesting to note, though. I find the fact that you can set... Well, okay, so first off, they had to give them a rank up magic circuit. This deck fucking needed it. Like, one of the issues that Raid Raptors inherently had was, oh no, I have to play fucking rank up magic cards. Now you can inherently play less because now you have a resource in the extra deck to go grab at any stage in the game and set up what you need to do. Like, that's really good. Also, the fact that this doubles as Blackwing support is real good. I know every Blackwing player wants their own Link Monster. Yeah, I get that, but for the most part, like, ugh, you gotta wait. Now, I do want to go back up here to one point. Uh, he had a poll of Twitter guesses, and these were kind of what people were going for, which gives me hope for something like Link Vrain's Pack 3, because we we talk about Teller Knights, Luna Lights, Gimmick Puppet, Dark World, Super Quants, and Weather Painters, and you're kind of like, well, you gave Magical Musketeers one, like... Judging by the popularity on this poll, there was a lot of dodging and just self-evaluation and things, I think, from Konami for understanding what the player base actually want in terms of just card design in general. I really want to tell a Night Link monster as much as the rest of you, or even a Luna Light Link monster. Gimmick Puppet would be cool. Um, Dark World, no. <laughs> Stop. Dark World FTK's got too much. But th this is this is from Japanese Twitter. Um, just general composites of information and things like that. So it was something interesting to note. Um, just in terms of things. Now, Fire Fist Eagle. Two Beast Warriors to make it. And of course, left down, right down. What we want. You can only splash summon one Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Eagle. Once per turn, you can only use this card's second effect once per turn. They hit you with the heart. They're like, oh, no, you're, you're not spamming out multiples of these. I think they inherently learn their lesson with explosive effects, and I can respect that uh, from Konami. Like, you have to put limitations on things like this. So if this card is in the monster zone, you can activate Fire Fist monster effects without sending Fire Fist or Fire Formation cards from your hand or field to the graveyard. Whew, that means we can use Bear and Gorilla without killing fucking formation cards. Now what I'm going to do with my formation cards? <laughs> like, cool, they can sit around and, I mean, he's 1700 attack. Like, ugh. Then you target one formation spell or trap card in your graveyard, return it to your hand, and send one Fire Fist monster from your deck to the graveyard. That is broken. Did... did <sighs> We get to deck them now, and we get to recur back from the graveyard. That's, that's, this card's really good. Um, we'll put Fire Fist back on the map. Unfortunately not, but in terms of giving support to every old Legacy deck, they're doing a good job of it. Like, Eagle is genuinely a very solid built card for his archetype, and I, I will say I'm, I'm not displeased with it. Of course, unpopular a link, or opinion, Konami already knew that these were coming, and these were the ones that they chose for reprints. Hmm. Yikes. Um, ooh. A scrap Wyvern. Two monsters, including a scrap monster. Every scrap player out there, rejoice. You got, you got some love today. So, it's left down, or no, this is just 
left and bottom. You can only use this card's first and second effects once per turn. Oh, I love restrictions. Target got one scrap monster in your graveyard, special summon it, and then destroy one card you control. I don't know when I'm getting two scrap monsters on the field besides, like, using the revival one, but it's like you've already got to commit two to make this guy. Uh, uh, and then if one face up or if a face-up scrap monster control is destroyed by card effect, while this card is face-up, you special summon one scrap monster from your deck and then destroy one card in the field. Why couldn't this just say extra deck? Like, you could have... I'm going to be honest with you. Fundamentally, the way that scraps work at this point in time, I wouldn't feel bad about giving the card the ability to special summon scrap dragon directly from the deck. But, I mean... Eh, you, you get more advantage to your effects. Like, this isn't bad for scraps at all, actually. Uh, once again, I put it in the same category as Eagle Loads. It's a very good card for its archetype, but it's not going to see fundamental competitive play at all. Ah, this was the one I haven't read yet. Condemned Dark Lord. Oh my god, she looks cool. All right. Condemned Dark Lord. Bottom left and bottom right, and it's two fairies. Okay, you can only use this card's second effect once per turn. So if you attribute someone a fairy monster requires true tributes, you can banish two monsters from your graveyard instead of banishing two monsters. So I put this on the field, taking my two, two fairy monsters. She gives me a free double tribute summon. Okay, that's pretty good. You can discard one card, take one Dark Lord card from your deck, and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Yes, please. I wish this was a link one, <laughs> honestly. Um, being able to do what we want with the Dark Lord cards now, yes. Bad news, link two. Cool. We did it. Once we're during your end phase, gain 500 life points for each fairy you control. Yay! Time procedures. <laughs> this card's pretty good. I'm not disappointed in this. This is some really goddamn good Dark Lord support. Like, Dark Lord Turbo is still going to be Turbo Unload Your Hand, but I mean, like, get two Dark Lords out and make this, and, you know, haven't used your normal summon yet. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> like, oh, look, it's the Nordic Link Monster. Oh, man, maybe my Nordic deck will be able to be good. Oh, wait. Cyframe Lord Lambada. Why, why does this exist? Like, <laughs> uh, oh, great. I mean, card looks cool. Like, I'll give him some credit for that one. Like, but as with all effects, it's probably going to suck. So it's two non-token monsters. Oh, boy. He's generic. Okay, hi, Lanphonicus. And you have, okay. You can uh, activate a Cyframe Gear monster effect in your hand, if you control them, oh, get out. <laughs> oh, great. But another face up psychic monster you control would be banished while this card is face up and activate this effect during this turn's end phase. You can add one side frame. <laughs> I already don't know how to play against side frames, but you're telling me now that you just gave them the link monster that searches? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why does this exist? Uh, good job, Cyframes. <laughs> you don't have through Omega anymore. Like you're you're getting places. And then the last one is Trap Trick Sarah. Oh boy, she's a Link One. Tr materials one Trap Trap Tricks monster other than a Link monster. Okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, this Link Summon card is unaffected by trap effects. <laughs> Hello, Clee Ford Genius. If a normal trap card is activated, you can special summon one trap tricks monster that does not share a monster with any monster you control from your deck. Hmm. If your trap tricks monster effect is activated, except this card's, you can set one whole trap card from your deck on your field. That's pretty good, actually. Link 1s for these older archetypes are relatively good. I, okay, I see you. Not bad. Genuinely, like, I'm I'm just like, normal summon my Romelio, set trap card, make this, set more stuff. Okay, okay, I, 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 I see you. 
It's not as good as the the Magical Musket one, but okay. Not bad. Overall, like, Link Vrain's Pack 2 is, like, spicy. Like, this the train one's okay. I like this one. DD, uh, we don't talk about that. Cypherim guy is good. Condemned Witch is good. Magical Musket's good. Like, this guy is good. Alien support, just because I, I need to be a filthy casual. And then Harpy's good. We don't talk about this card. Like... <laughs> But overall, what do you guys think? Please, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about the new support. Well, guys, I'm out. Peace. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a truffle shuffle and all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancol40 for some awesome banger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.